we've got our search functionality built in. And so when you click on the search button here, it'll take us to our search page that will display all of our results. And right now it's just displaying the restaurant's name. And so let's clean this page up a little bit. If we go into our template here, I've taken the time to go through all the templates to take a look at which one I want. And I think the one that will work best for us is Properties Grid Layout 2. And so I think this would be a good template to use to display all of our search results. So what we'll need to do is go into our text editor, take this, drag it in, copy all of it, and then go to our search HTML ERB. And we can just copy over this for now. We'll add it back in. So now when we save it, go back to our application, make sure it works, do a refresh. It works for us. And if you remember, anytime we're copying in a template, we have an extra footer and header. So we can take those out. So here, all we need to do is take out the footer. At the top, let's just find header. Move it over, save it, do a refresh, and here we go. And so for right now, we can take out all of these other items. We don't need them. We'll just keep one item for now. So each item is a part of this div right here, this box container. So let's go through and take out all of them besides one, except for one. So if we go here, save it, do refresh, and here we go. We only have one item. So this is where we start putting in all of our Ruby code. Say, if restaurants white couldn't find a restaurant with your search criteria, criteria else at restaurants for each do restaurant. and then do all of this in here. Now it's always a good idea to close off your if else statements and all of your Ruby code right off the bat because it can get very easy, be very easy to forget where you put them. And so in here, what I'm thinking is we'll have the restaurant name right here instead of the address. So we can say equals restaurant name. Do a refresh. There you go. So we had two restaurants in our search results, and so now we have two items here. It's, instead of beds, we can say phone. Equals restaurant dot phone. Instead of baths, we can say location. city comma dot state there we have it our phone and our location and we can make these look a little bit better too so for city let's capitalize it so this will capitalize the first letter and for the state we'll upcase it so this will make all of the letters uppercase so there you go and what we can do here actually is add some more stuff Just create a link here in the name so right now we don't have a an image and so it's just giving us this default image right here we haven't added images to our restaurants at least not yet and so what we do want is that when somebody clicks in here that it'll take them to 
the restaurant's show page. And so we can do that. Well, first of all, we can do that in making the restaurant name a link. So if we do a refresh, it'll take us to the restaurant. And if we'd like for the image, we could possibly do that for the image, but for now we would, we, would, we don't need to do that. For now, we'll just leave it at that um, because we're going to be adding images later on, so we don't need to do anything with it, at least not yet. So just know that when we click on the name, we have to click, or that we have to click on the name in order to get to the restaurant show page. All right, so there you go. We have a good-looking search results page right here, and actually we can test it out to make sure that it all works. So if we click on Seattle, or if we do a search for Seattle, we'll only get Joe's Pasta Bar. And if we go back and just click the Asian category, search the Asian category, we'll get Bill's Chinese Takeout in New York. And if we try it on me, I don't think this will work because yeah, it won't work because we created Tom's Bistro before we added GeoCoder, and so this location isn't GeoCoded yet. And so that's that's perfectly fine. We can leave it as that. If you'd like, you can go back and change it either through the Rails console or create an edit function, um, edit action, which we'll do later on too. Uh, but for now, that's okay. We know that it works. We know that when we search for Seattle, that Joe's Pasta Bar comes up. So our search functionality our search form works for us.